morning students welcome back to science class of 7th children we were studying chapter number 8 of science that is wind storms and cyclones and in my previous class i had completed this chapter okay so today i will be discussing the exercises of the chapter so let's start with it about the chapter okay so the chapter is about the formation of winds storms and cyclones and their effects on human life so in this chapter what we have studied how cyclones are formed how winds are formed and how thunderstorms are formed and what are their effects on the human life okay now key terms so children it is our subject enrichment chapter so i will not be giving the notes of this chapter this chapter everything you have to do by yourself i will be only discussing about it okay so i have explained the chapter thoroughly and after that now you have to write yourself everything okay so key terms write and learn 10 key terms from the chapter by yourself so go through the chapter read it and write 10 key terms from the chapter like tornado hurricane cyclone okay thunderstorm lightning wind atmospheric pressure air many key terms you will get from the chapter okay after that very short answer type questions that i will be discussing in the class okay so let's start with very short answer type questions question number 1 when cold water is poured over a tightly corked tin can containing steam the tin can gets crushed what crushes the tin can so the answer is the atmospheric pressure jo atmospheric pressure hota hai it is acting on the outer surface of the can from all the sides okay then question number second what conclusion do you get from the observation that when cold water is poured over a tin can full of steam and corked tightly the tin gets crushed so the answer is the steam condenses into water and creates a partial vacuum inside the can okay then third one what conclusion do you get from the fact that it is difficult to ride a bicycle against the direction of the wind so we get the conclusion that wind exert the pressure in opposite direction in which the cycle is riding or moving okay now Question number four: Which of the two is lighter, warm air or cold air? So the right answer is warm air. Fifth one: Which region of the Earth gets a the maximum heat from the sun? Answer is equator. B the minimum heat from the sun? Answer is poles. Sixth one: What is the cyclone known as? A in American continent that is hurricane. and b in japan and philippines that is answer is typhoon then seventh one which of the two is associated with high speed winds reduced air pressure or increased air pressure so the right answer is reduced air pressure eighth one a name an instrument to measure wind speed so the answer is anemo meter then b name an instrument to find wind direction answer is wind vane ninth one what name is given to the winds which blow off from the indian ocean during summer answer is monsoon winds tenth one name the direction from which monsoon winds blow into our country during summer answer is south west 11 state whether the following statements are true or false a a car or bus is not a safe place to take shelter during lightning answer is false it's a safe place then b the coastline of india is not vulnerable to cyclones false answer is the coastline of india is vulnerable to cyclones okay then c a cyclone is formed by a very low pressure center with very high speed winds revolving around it 
answer is true then d the eye of a cyclone has a very high pressure answer is false right answer is the eye of a cyclone has a very low air pressure then e the funnel of a tornado sucks dust debris and everything near it at the base due to low pressure and throws them out near the top answer is true okay then 12th name three natural phenomena involving high speed winds which can create disasters and pose a threat to life and property answer is thunderstorms cyclones tornadoes 13 what is the common name of a storm which is accompanied by lightning followed by a loud sound from the clouds answer is thunder storm 14 which coast of india is a more vulnerable to cyclones answer is east coast then b less vulnerable to cyclones answer is west coast then 15 what is the name of a huge revolving storm in which high speed winds move in circles around a center area of a very low pressure answer is cyclone 16 which of the following process absorbs heat and which one releases heat so condensation of water vapor absorbs heat and vaporization of water releases heat okay then 17 which of the two are more frequent in india cyclones or tornadoes so the right answer is cyclones 18 what is the name of a storm consisting of a column of rapidly rotating air and having the appearance of a funnel shaped cloud whose lower end touches the ground right answer is tornado then 19 which area of a cyclone is calm free of clouds and has only light winds answer is eye of cyclone okay now let's proceed to question number 20 fill in the blanks with suitable words a moving air is called wind b a bicycle tube becomes tight on filling air because air exerts pressure c air expands on heating and contracts on cooling d warm air is lighter than cold air e near the earth's surface hot air rises up whereas cold air comes down f winds are generated due to uneven heating on the earth g air moves from a region of high air pressure to a region of low air pressure h the greater the difference in air pressure in the two regions the dash the wind blows answer is faster i increased wind speed is accompanied by a reduced air pressure then j the winds generated due to uneven heating on earth between the equator and the poles are not in the exact north south direction due to the rotation of the earth okay then k the center of a cyclone is called its i l the revolving storm which is formed over warm sea water is cyclone m the storm associated with funnel shaped cloud that reaches from the sky to the ground is called tornado n the west coast of india is less vulnerable to cyclonic storms than the east coast and the last one o a cyclone is called hurricane in american continent and typhoon in japan after very short answer type questions now short answer type questions that you have to do by yourself okay so children go through the chapter read it thoroughly and find out the answers from the book okay then long answer type question this also you have to do by yourself okay then the next one is multiple choice questions okay see this multiple choice questions you have to do in the book by yourself answer is given at the last page of the chapter and if also you are feeling any doubt or query you can ask me okay and at the last higher order thinking skill questions that 
also you have to do in the book by yourself the answer is also given at the back of the chapter so children what three things you have to do in the book very short answer type questions multiple choice question and higher order thinking skill questions these things you have to do in the book and what you have to do in the copy about the chapter key terms short question answers and long question answers so our chapter is finished okay now in my next video i will be starting a new chapter of activity that is forest a life flying okay so that's all for today okay take care of yourself students thank you and have a great day